Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are. I'm going to interview a five-time speaker of the House of Representatives. I'm going to talk about uh, federalism. Sir, uh, the consultative committee had already given the draft to President Duterte. And uh, the, the problem is uh, uh, the finance secretary and even uh, NEDA, they said when we insist on federalism, that would be very expensive because 120 billion pesos would be added on the copper to just this regional regional states would finance for themselves. Do you think it's very expensive for federalism? I think before uh, they finalize a, a national position, the consideration of executive, legislative, and civil society, all the way to the citizens. I think there should be one more national forum to be organized government and citizen for a common united front action of the Filipino people on when and how federal federalism the and approved or disapproved by the Philippines. One more, one more, one more uh, attempt to activate a truly national agenda on the actions that the Filipino people will take vis a vis for a while there was a momentum that this will be done before the election. But now that is out of the question. So it means the tempo, the temperature and the tempo and the action that the Filipino people must take in the next few months are now are now gone. They will not be uh, available for action anymore before the elections or during the elections. It means now, therefore, that the federalism can only be uh, taken up by the Filipino people. Perhaps in the year 2019 or before 2022. Sir. So the, the previous the, the previous uh, timeline that was uh, talked about or predicted has, is now about to pass. And uh, it means that there will be, there will be no people of federalism by the elections of next year. Are you privy to the statement of RAs? Are you privy to the statement of Secretary of Finance Dominguez that we are going to hell if we insist on federalism? Because first, the uh, Moody, Standard and Poor, Moody, and those those uh, credit rating outfits abroad would would downgrade our credit uh, significance abroad. So when we borrow money, money would be very good. Inflation would be higher, he said. How, how right you are. That's, for the reason. That's the reason why I believe we should take another run at this uh, immobilizing national opinion for or against this problem. Because uh, it's strong. The strong run of the support is mounting. Yeah, Filipino, more, more Filipino people don't understand the It's mounting because of lack of understanding. So I would suggest that this should be subject of, 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 of national study about the business confidence in the next 
three in the next three years, before the end of the term of the president. The first three years are about to end So the next three years will be complete thorough study of the pros and cons of federalism and uh, a final comprehensive study by the financial managers, by the economic managers. Meta, Department of Finance. And we want a yes or no action plan coming from the Sir, based on the present setup, the senators are lukewarm because they said in case there will be federalism, there will be no term term for them again because the plan is for parliamentary system, federal parliamentary system. So how can we expect that this law, this federalism will become a law when the senators themselves would not approve that? That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, one, for federalism to be acted upon and approved by the bicameral competition, all the senators must come on board. And uh, if, they, if they come on board, then there is a, a better push for federalism, otherwise we should abandon it for the moment. Because now, the single biggest problem facing the nation and the Philippine people is the economy, the economy, the economy. And with interest rates mounting, and uh, the president of the, of the land, the president of the should for the national summit, political, economic, and civil action. One week so that we can agree on the national agenda for the Philippine people for the years 2019. We can all take a common action plan and act on it, not later than the year 2010. So we know where we're going. No, the, the, the country is in a state of uh, inflation. Trillianis is there, the Broha there. This disarray, and uh, we need the national leadership as now to mobilize the nation, the Filipino people, the masses, the intelligentsia. Everyone the Senate and the House and civil society. And agree one can go what we want to do. There is no there is no action, national action program. Before I end this interview, last week I was reading non parallel columnist Maximo Solivet. In one of an event in Forbes Park. He met you there. And uh, you lamented the, I think that was 8-7 vote, Supreme Court. You nearly get this people initiative to change the constitution, the 8-7. And Max Oliven said, fighting Joe was there. And I asked him, when the click lights started to flash, he gave his 1,000 watt smile. And he said, he'll be asking for reconsideration in the Supreme Court. Because ladies and gentlemen, when the speaker was the speaker, he almost hard on the amendment of the constitution that was 87 am i right sir the, the, the decision was 87 we missed it by only one vote. one one vote only he missed it every president wanted to change the constitution even Duterte wanted to change but joe divinisha during his time only one vote from the Supreme Court. and just him max Sullivan said he he loaded you there he said the prolific speaker, he was in fighting mode because he said, I'm going to ask for reconsideration in the Supreme Court. General Marge, that is what they call reversible decision. You close. But it was not reversed. It, meaning it can be reversed. Montekna, no? 887. What do you plan to do, sir? Parliamentary. Unicameral, parliamentary. But you're going to be federal.
Pero we missed it by one book. Pinaka valid na objection dito sa Twitter releases eh yung cost. Okay nga, sabi ko kanina 120 billion. Eh you cannot do that when we are having a political debate and so we have to have a robust Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about uh, I'm 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 in, I'm with the uh, editor in chief Ruben Rivera here also. He's a uh, veteran reporter, <laughs> friend of the five time speaker. <laughs> Sir, probably you're the longest speaker in the world in yes. terms in terms. Confirm confirm <laughs> Asia and Africa. I have to check. I have to check uh, Europe. I have to check Europe and Latin America. <laughs> what is the name of that speaker in the U.S. Congress? Uh, a Democrats, all politics is local. Tip Onin, is that right? Yes. I, I read this book. <laughs> but you only one, one term. term. Under Reagan, President Reagan. There are some parliamentarians call him mentor, father. Not really, for a big breakfast, we came to Cambodia. Mentor and Taos.